Now to an update on a WSAZ investigation. A man whose house was destroyed by fire earlier this month in Charleston now filing a lawsuit against West Virginia American Water. We've been telling you about this since it happened back on May 5th. According to the suit, three fire hydrants near the home failed to deliver enough water pressure to fight that fire. The lawsuit says the homeowner seeks to hold American Water Company accountable for its failure to maintain adequate water pressure. So house fires happen when you least expect it and every second counts when it comes to the ability of firefighters to save your family's home. Now one local fire department tells News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson one of the biggest problems is within your capacity to fix. This is one of the greatest things, the obstacles that we run into in our district. That issue, overgrown weeds and other obstacles that either hide or block access to your neighborhood fire hydrant. We found this one in Taze Valley south of the railroad tracks. You see the, it, it's overgrown. So at nighttime, three o'clock in the morning, it's raining. Uh, the chances of us seeing that are very slim, okay? In the current condition. The edging and fence, both likely to be damaged in a fire response. The sheer force of water capable of destroying the fence and firefighters would tear away the edging to move in the equipment they need. We use this valve to get us every drop of water that we can get out of a fire hydrant. And that valve, we will attach another pumping apparatus to that valve, and it will pump to itself, and it will end up relaying to a forward position. We can't even put that on that hydrant in that condition. And we need that device inside this subdivision because we need to get every drop of water we can get out. Chief John Smoot says your neighborhood fire hydrant should look like this, with plenty of room on all sides. And it's not just good advice, it's the law in Putnam County. County ordinance requires a 10-foot area around the hydrant. The ordinance stating no structures, fences, plantings, motor vehicles, or any other obstruction that can interfere with the operation shall be allowed within the area. This fence is not in compliance because it's right up against the hydrant. Whose responsibility is that? Is that the homeowner? Is that somebody such as yourself come along explaining to them or the water company? Who is that? The, um, we have tried to educate through social media, through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, that if you have this in your yard, please take care of it. If you have shrubs that surround it, please take care of it. Words of advice to protect your neighborhood. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Putnam County. So we checked around and not every county has that ordinance. However, it's important to know that West Virginia motor vehicle law prohibits you from parking within 15 feet of a hydrant.